welcome back to my channel. As I promised, here is the review for the second book in the Stormmaker's trilogy, Wanted. So, uh, okay, so, in the first book, it was in Dorothea's point of view. She was the main character. This book is Rex's point of view. But Dorothea isn't always in it. She's mainly a little bit bad. Same with Catherine. Catherine was in a little bit more than Dorothea, though. Um, I'll get into that a little bit. But, um, so after the first book ended, and, uh, Dor I told you how Dorothea was, uh, Dor uh, they were bounded, and so, like, Rexy and Dorothea, they could, like, see, see each other's memories, feel each other's presence, their feelings, they're, they're bounded, because Dorothea saved Rexy with life magic. And in this book, uh, it's in Rex's point of view, and she is tired of this life, she's tired of being forgotten and stuff, and they're all kind of hiding now, because they're all wanted for breaking the rules of fairy tale, and so they're hiding out, so the group is kind of hiding out right now, Dorothea is, um, being practiced, um, is being trained as a story maker by Oz, and, uh, Rexy eventually ends up, um, she ends up, uh, helping Verda one last time by bringing, um, at the beginning she's still with the group, almost, and her and Dorothea have a little tiff, she ends up dying again, but Dorothea brings her back, and, but anyways, uh, Rexy ends up getting, um, something for them, and then Verda releases her, because Rexy was given to her as, uh, for, to be a servant, and she says, do the last few things for me, and you're free to go, because she wanted to leave and find her own happy ever after, and find her own story, and make her own path, rather than being tied down with, by Dorothea's path, so, she does that, but first she, um, helps them get, um, uh, Hydra a new head, because this head was kind of damaged, and she needed a new one, and so they give her Gwen, Gwenny, Gwen, um, which later on they discover exactly who Gwen was, um, but she ends up leaving, and it took me a little bit longer than it usually does to finish this book, so a lot from the beginning I don't remember, because my mind's not here apparently, um, she ends up meeting Mordred, who they end up having a little tough turf, they don't like each other, like, from the straight, and he, sh uh, he thought, uh, Rexy was a boy, and, um, they end up me meeting up several times, they keep running into each other, and, um, but she ends up, uh, running into, uh, her dad, Robin Hood, and, uh, he, he tells her to wait up and, um, for him, and, uh, he'll help her, and then she's like, no, and she doesn't believe him, or she, she wanted to believe him, so she went to where he said to meet at their old campsite, where she grew up, and he wasn't there, neither were her two brothers, so she was like, how could I believe that again, and that's why she met Mordred again, um, so she ends up going to find her own story, she had no idea where she was going or what she was doing, she was lost, you know, inside and out, she's just lost everywhere, and, <laughs> She keeps going to the underworld because she keeps dying, and every time she does, she loses a memory, and she keeps kind of forgetting about herself, and she starts becoming more and more Dorothea-like. Like one point when she was talking to her dad, she was, um, he said made a comment about her shoes, and she was like, um, she made a comment about how fabulous they are, about their vintage or something like that, and then she, she, he was horrified, and so was she. She was like, that was the Dorothea out of me. But eventually she ends up, um, deciding to steal something from this, um, it was kind of like a museum for the fairy tales. It had a, a bunch of the most powerful artifacts. Kind of like that museum from Descendants, if any of you guys watched that. Uh, that museum where, like, Fairy Godmother's wand is, uh, Maleficent Spindle, uh, all of the, all the stuff, Cinderella's shoe, um, I know there's more fairy tales, but that's all, those are the three things that come to mind, apparently. Uh-huh. So... 
it's kind of like that. And she runs into the evil queen, no doubt. Um, and uh, she, everyone thinks she's a huntsman, so she's pretending to be one. She's calling, she's being called Strex, the huntsman. Oh, uh, earlier before she left, they made a magical guy. Kind of like that episode of Charmed, actually. I don't like that episode, but basically they kind of create a guy for Piper to date since she hasn't dated since her and Leo's bro break up and she, she's in, that would have been six because that's when they were temporarily separated. But, um, yeah, so it's kind of like that, honestly. But he wasn't that bright and his ears are like huge. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, kind of like Dumbo, which is mentioned. But, um, but yeah, so, um, he keeps it, uh, uh, ending up where Rexy is and she has no idea how he keeps appearing wherever she is but yeah the reason why she ended up going with Rex the Huntsman is because um the first time she met Mordred uh Dumbo sh Dumbo sh that's what they call him but Dumbo showed up and he um or Dumbo 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 I mean it's Dumbo I think but I think the bow is spelled different because isn't that how you isn't there two ways to spell bow like B-O and then B-E-A-U you Dumbo I don't know but anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna call him Dumbo. Dumb, and he, Dumbo came up and called her Rex, cause that's what he calls her. So that's why Mordred assumed that was her name and started calling him her Rex the Huntsman. But anyways, um, she ends up going to this place and went to the villain um area where all the m villains' most powerful things are and found the mirror. That's where she was gonna find out her, what she wanted in life, what her true, what her truest desire was, what she needed to be happy, and. Um, I don't remember what the image showed at first, um, but the second time it showed Kato, which freaked her out. She's like, no, 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 Kato is Dorothea's, and she's my friend, and there's no way that I could watch him. So, yeah, that was a bit of a twist. But, and she's like, no, no, this mirror must be broken, and of course Mordred shows up again. And, uh, no, it wasn't Mordred. It was Robin Hood, sorry. Robin shows up because, um... And then when she wakes up, she doesn't remember him because it turns out that Robin sold her to Bertie for to pay taxes or something, or because she had a debt or something like that. And so he sold her, and um, Rexy was still mad about that, but she doesn't remember that part anymore. And she thought she had run away and scared them half, scared him and her brothers half to death. And he's like. Um, and he just kind of goes with it like, oh yeah, 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 you're, you're right, yeah, that's what happened. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this character, and he gets worse by the end of the book, just... But yeah, so D Rexy tells her e him everything, he gets really upset because he's like, um, uh, y you saved this girl and now you're bound to her, and um, what do you get for it? Like, he's very selfish. And she's like, I did a good deed, I saved her life. And, and, um... I owed it to her, and he's like, says who? Uh, you betrayed her and almost helped destroy the world? Yeah, she kind of owed it to Dorothea. <laughs> I don't like him. I like Robin Hood a lot better on Once Upon a Time. He's amazing on Once Upon a Time. He sucks on here. But, yeah, that's just me. Um, anyways, they end up leaving, and they end up um, getting help from Lady of the Lake. She said she wants Dor uh, Rexy to be a champion. At first she said no, but eventually she agrees. Um, because she wanted to help or because she, um, not because she wanted to help but because if she helps her they because um, she wants Excalibur and if she gets Excalibur then she can use it to kill to help then she'll let uh, Rexy use it first to help her because apparently the Excalibur is the only thing that can um, cut off the bonds between her and Dorothea at, before she completely loses everything and loses herself altogether so that's what, so she agrees to do this, and then that's what, and then after that she runs into Mordred again, but this time he's with Kato, and Kato keeps trying to get him, her, her to leave, and, um, get her to leave because, uh, she w might blow up their entire plans, everything they're planning, meaning, you know, him, Dorothea, Verda, and, um, Hydra are planning, and, but they end up going where they meet Guinevere. Who is Gwen, Hydra's head that Rexy had got for her? Um, so that's fun. Rexy and Rexy ends up pretending that she wants to be a villain because Guinevere on here is a villain. Uh, I don't think she's a villain in the original story. 
but Mordred is actually someone that was killed by Arthur, but he came back. And, yeah, so he's after the Grail. And, um, so, that, yeah, and, uh, Rexy pretends she, like, Guinevere is hosting this whole academy of villains for villains who want to do better and actually be able to do what they are setting out to do. And, um, Rexy pretends that she wants to be part of it so that she can stay, because they're in Camelot now, she's closer ever to the sto sword. So, yeah. Um, Canto keeps trying to get her to leave, but she won't leave that easily, and every time she's with him, she's realizing her feelings for him are growing, and that scares the crap out of her, because Dorothea is her friend, and Canto is in love with Dorothea, she could never love her, and, yeah, so, <laughs> but, uh, so everyone still thinks Rexy is a boy, and, what happened next? I don't remember, my mind's just not here, apparently. But anyways, yeah, uh, Rexy was trying to find Excalibur, and eventually Mordred actually found it, and everyone started being like, um, he's the new king, because Excalibur only shows himself to whoever's the new king, so that's what Excalibur did, and so Rexy and Catherine knew they had to try and get it off of him, and they were working together to do it, uh, Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot before they were to Camelot. Uh, Dorothea and Verda actually found Rexy because she had died again, and they were well, Dorothea was able to save her, and um, they parted ways again. And Dorothea's like, I need the orb bolt because it's the only way she can um, keep saving Rexy's life if Rexy's gonna keep dying if she has the orb bolt with her, and then she doesn't have to be with Rex with Dorothea when she dies because Dorothea will have the orb bolt and she'll be able to feel Rexy die so she can use the orb bolt to save her. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so, uh, anyway, back to Camilla, Rexy, uh, so, they ha she tries to get it off Mordred, but that doesn't exactly work, and then, my eyes are going blank. But anyways, yeah, so, eventually, uh, she ends up going back to Lady Lake saying that she can't um, get Excalibur, she can't keep doing with this mission, and she's like, uh, give him this pearl, and she was in the water because she was marked by the Lady of the Lake, so now she can like breathe in water and help control water because she's marked by her, and um, she, she like gives him this pearl and pop it in his mouth, if he, and then he will forget everything except for what's in front of him, um, which will be you, and then basically he will he won't remember anything, he would only want Rexy. And then Kato ends up jumping in the water to save her, and she ends up having to save him because he can't breathe in the water, and she was able to uh, s uh, save him before he died from drowning. And she ended up not doing the whole pearl thing, but he, she did consider it, she was like, cause she, but then she was like, no, I can't do that, not to Dorothy, not to Kato, and I know what it's like to lose a part of myself and my senses and my memories, and I don't want to do that to him. And then that's when Dorothea comes, erupted by flames, because she's, because it, it, in this book she gets controlled by the curse a lot, instead of controlling the curse. And she gets angry, because Rexy, you know, having feelings for her guy, and she uh, ends up shooting flames at Rexy, but then before, Rexy didn't remember dying that time. She just woke up in this library with Verda Hydra, Hydra was herself again, it wasn't Gwen anymore, and, um, uh, and Oz and Merlin, and that's when Rexy figured out that Merlin, because when they first met, when she first met Merlin, she, he knew that she, she was a girl, and he didn't know how, she knew exactly, he knew exactly who she was, she was Rexy, not Rex, and he's, and then she's like, that's not Merlin, that's Mick, 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 aka Mick, 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 something like that, and, um, eventually he proved that he was, and he's also the first Beast King, that, and no one knew that Mimic Min was the first Beast King. So he was actually a pre- he was actually a, one of Kato's a ancestors. And they are both fighting over Dorothea, but Dorothea loves Kato, so... Good luck with that. Uh... So yeah, um... And then, they're, so, uh... They're fighting and Rexy's like... 
Roxy Cato and Mimic Man decided that they have to go and find the Grail because Rocia was at this point is losing control of the curse and the only way to save her is the Grail. So they end up uh, leaving Verda and Hydra are going to take care of um, Dorothea and they end up uh, before they even leave the palace though they meet Mordred who was going to kill Rexia again because like how many times does he have to put an axe up to her throat in one thing <laughs> uh, anyways um so yeah <laughs> and um but then she ends up getting the upper hand in him and um and then uh Kato has to fly off to find uh the Egrail to help Dorothea or finds has to fly off to find Dorothea, I think. I don't remember at this point. But uh, even though I just read it. Uh huh. Um and he can't transform like m mimic mimic I'm just gonna call him Mick, okay? He can't transform just transform whenever he wants, like Mick can. And into a chimera. So he can only do it by true love's kiss and that's Dorothea. And then um he ends up pushing him towards Rexy because Rexy is and Dorothea are starting to become one. And um Re Rexy was afraid it wouldn't work because she was afraid her feelings for, for him wasn't um, you know so she kissed but she kisses him anyways and then when she opens her eyes she realizes that it did transform him and he flew away. And um but she doesn't know if that's because he loves her or because she is par partly Dorothea and he loves Dorothea. Um, spoiler alert, Dorothea. He only loves Dorothea. I mean, he loves Rexy, don't get me wrong, he loves Rexy a lot. But, like a sister, or a really good friend, he he's in love with Dorothea. Like, that's the bottom line. Um, and she finds out what these feelings are in a little bit. But anyways, yeah, so she ends up... So she, so, um, she, Robin Hood comes and, um, she has the fake Excalibur in her hand because by then she, she found, and, wait, is it fake? No, okay, you weren't supposed to know that yet, were you? Oops, oh, well, she, but she has Excalibur in her hand and Robin Hood comes and then, um, she's then, she, Dorothea had already left, she's on her way to be Blanc and, um, she's going to die. It, um, because even though she's more powerful than Blanc, Still, Blanc controls the water, and water is more powerful than fire. So, and um, Dorothy is on a power craze because she's angry and she's hurt, and the curse is controlling her. And so that's why Kato and Mick flew off to find her and save her. And the power was draining uh, Rexy, and that's when Robin Hood came and took a scalper, and um, he was going to betray her and give it to the Lady of the Lake, even if it meant Rexy died. Turns out Rexy's not actually his daughter. He found her in a tree and thought she could be useful, thought she was important, but turns out he thought she was a failure because he she ended up not being as important as he thought. <laughs> so yeah, but then Mordred comes up and agrees that they could he'll help her if she helps him find the Grail. And after he, she finds out what the Grail is, she finds out that she knows exactly where it is and what it is and where to find it. So um, Mordred uh, and Ka Rexy leave and they meet up with the entire group because Dorothea at this point is dying. She's on the ground, she's she's dying and the only way to save her now is the grail. So Rexy ends up, uh, go, Re they find out that Rexy is the only one that can sneak into Blanc's thing because of the mark and when Kato finds out that she was technically working with Blanc because she found out a little, little bit before that she found out that Blanc was the Lady of the Lake. She didn't know that. She, she wasn't like working with Blanc willingly. She thought the Lady of the Lake was a good person. Um, so Kato was a little hurt to find out she was working with Blanc. But anyway, she went, and because of Dumbo, she showed up again. She was able to, um, trick her into getting, into getting the Grail in her hands and Excalibur, the real Excalibur, because, uh, um, Mordred had told her that the Excalibur he had was fake. So Robin Hood has a fake Excalibur, and she has the real one now. And she ended up using her, since she has the mark of the Lady of Lake, she has the power of water at her command as well, so she ends up using that to get across the ocean and back to the others, but Blanc follows her, and there's a whole blowout, a huge fight, well not a huge fight, but a fight nonetheless, and um, uh, what happened next, um, I just read this and my mind's going blank, okay, uh huh, but yeah, so, Blanc ends up attacking them, 
and Mordred ends up getting a a Casual tells Mordred to get uh to get Rusty to safety. And uh but she ends up going back because she realized that she had to save help them. Whatever she could do, she had to help them. And she ends up taking Scalper and put piercing it through Blanc. And then she knew what would happen and she and that also since she had the mark of late lake, it also kills her, which was her shadow who I didn't mention this part, but throughout the book, she has this shadow, which is the god of the underworld, kind of being Morty, who's... Hey! Take your back, your shadow! Um, what? Morty, who, and Keep Morty's been, out! um, waiting for Rexy to get back there so she could, he could escape using her body. And... Hello! Hello? And, so because, Look, so yeah. Uh... So he was happy to see her again, but then, um, what? Castle came, and then she, Rexy, Rexy, because he got to her before her heart stopped beating, and Rexy found out that he didn't have any of his nails left, his life magic, she, he used the last one to save her life, and, um, she was like, no, I never wanted you to replace me, no, and then, so she, so she ends up waking up, and then Castle appears, but it isn't Castle, it's Castle's body, but it's, uh, Morty, who is taking over him. Which is no fun for anyone. But Dorothea wakes up just as um, Blanc kisses Cato or Sorry, Morty. Are your on? Yeah, I'm going back in there in a minute. Um, Morty, uh, he, end, uh, he ends up, she ends up kissing Morty. She like, cause they were, she was trying to get Blanc to work for him, and she's like, no, I don't work for anyone. And Blanc ends up kissing him to try to kind of, I guess, get the darkness around, something like that. But, um, and Dorothea wakes up just as that happened, and she's like, Kato, no! And Dorothea and Rexy can kind of feel Dorothea's pain and anguish at losing Kato. And the Emerald Curse gets stronger and stronger, because, you know, losing the love of your life will do that to you. So she wakes, so she ends up fighting Blanc with her powers, and then she ends up, um, Blanc ends up leaving. I don't know why, because she realized how powerful uh, Dorothea is, I guess. And then um, she had what she came here for. So she, and then Dorothea ended up using her her emerald curse. Ended up like all the villains that were helping Blanc. She ended up starting to burn them all, and uh, she couldn't stop. And then she even almost burned Birdie, but Birdie is powerful too. Maybe not as powerful as Dorothea, but she was still able to use her power to get away. And um, so, uh, and then she's had a moment of realization what's going on and then she asked Rexy to kill her and Rexy can't do that and then Berta tells Rexy that she, it has to be her she's the only one that can stop Dorothea at this point so Rexy ends up using her water powers to kind of and splash it on Dorothea but that also snuffed her out but Rexy didn't mean to do that she snuffed out her last magic so she ran over to her in tears like no 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 this can't be happening this isn't what I wanted I'm so sorry please forgive me uh and and then all of a sudden the scal the real Excalibur ended up in her hand and every all the villains that remained they were all like and they all started kneeling before her because she was now the true heir of Camelot and she's like no I don't want this I just want to save Dorothea and Cato that's all I want and uh and now that Dorothea is dead, uh, she, is, her and Dorothea's bond is not broken, is un, it's broken now. So she can't feel Dorothea, she can't sense her or her emotions, and now she knows that ca her feelings for Kato was just Dorothea being inside of her. Because, uh, she still loves Kato, but like a brother now, she does he's not in love with him, like Dorothea is. And, so, um... And she finds out that Mordred knew her true identity because he even says, long live the queen and something like that. And um, uh, whispers it to her. So everyone else still thinks she's a boy who's going to be the king of Cam Camelot, but in truth, tr tr she's a queen, the queen of Camelot. So, so yeah, and Mordred's agreed to like help her rule as long as she's worthy of it. And, and then the epilogue is um, this, they're in a different world. And 
and a girl wakes up who's been in a coma for a long time wakes up in a mental institution and um and she's like uh, no no i have to go back to him i have to save the people i have to save him talking about Cato. it turns out it's dorothea but yeah so she's in this other realm now and she everyone thinks she's crazy because she's talking about this other world they're in kansas where her mom and dad are, uh, are. and so so she has to and she remembers this other world but you know they think she's crazy uh i'm gonna read you the last sentence it says then the sedatives took effect and the world of rexy castle and his gold makers became a blur in dorothy gale's mind so now she's just dorothy gale like wizard of oz because that's always who the character was kind of supposed to be on a loosely turn term but now she's that's who she actually is and yeah so <laughs> So that's the second book of the Soul Makers trilogy. I'll be reading the third one probably tomorrow. I'm kind of tired. I might just lie down and watch some TV. You know, maybe work on my book a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. So please like and subscribe and comment uh, your thoughts on it. You can follow me on Twitter, Bookstagram, and Goodreads at Secret Books. And I'll talk to you guys later.